Hi, everybody. You know, most coaches in any sport would tell you they'll gladly take a road split in terms of win-loss. Kevin Wooden and his Lady Yellow Jackets up here in Fairbanks this afternoon shooting for that trip split. If you're wondering what a Nanook is, head coach Kevin Wooden told me it's a polar bear, and he's right. There's the mascot, and the Nanooks come out firing in the first. Kylie Wallace cans an open three. She had nine points in the half. Jackets down five after one. Watch Taylor Cunningham's pass on the money to Jean Ann Lamlin. That ties it at 17. Riley Kane gets lost in traffic. Lefty layups good for the lead. Jackets now trailing again by three. Off the bench, Taylor Edwards. Instant offense. That three ties it, but Anchorage still led by three at halftime. Jackets turn it on in the third quarter. Vanessa Stavish hits a three here. She was clutch in the second half. So was Riley Kane, who finished with 18. And Alicia Breen really got to work late. Led everybody in the game with 23 points in the Yellow Jackets. Lee Fairbanks with a 74-59 win. Now it's also worth noting, former Bobcat men's basketball coach Mick Durham is up here coaching the Fairbanks men. Been up here, he's now in his seventh year. His first assistant, Bobby Howard, the former Bobcat and Great Falls native. Now, coming up tomorrow, I'll run you through this entire five-day road trip with the Yellow Jacket women, from the 4 a.m. wake-up calls to the shoot-arounds, game time, and some off-the-court fun as well. Also including some study habits and Coach Kevin Wooden's 100% graduation rate through his 14-year career here. And on one final note, I was actually outside doing some work last night, and the temperatures are so low up here, so far below zero, that this cheap pair of readers I brought along actually snapped the freezing temperatures. I guess occupational hazard, right? That'll do it from Fairbanks tonight. We'll see you tomorrow with the Yellow Jacket women. Scott Breen, MTN Sports.